Something super important that we missed in the last video was the fact that inside the start timer, we not only want to update the time remaining, but we also want to update our speed. So for every, every word I type, every second my speed is going to change. Speed is something variable. Let me show you from the real example that is already deployed. So I'll refresh the page and let me start typing. So as soon as I start typing, as far as, so I have typed three words here. So my word per minute is constantly changing according to the time I have remaining. As far as we can estimate. So as you can see, there is a change in our speed. So how do we handle that? Very, very simple. It's very simple. Let us put a comment here, change the WPM as well. So I am going to use a simple logic. So firstly, let me figure out the time spent. The time spent is simply going to be the total time minus the time remaining, this dot state dot time remaining. It's very simple, right? The total time is nothing but our 60 seconds and the time remaining is already saved inside our state. So the time spent will be total time minus the time which is remaining. So I am going to use a very simple logic. Let's say I was able to write X number of words in the time spent, then in the total time, which is one minute, how many words will I be able to write? So very simple, the simple unitary method, which we all learned when we were small kids, X divided by time spent and the whole thing multiplied by total time. But beware, this is going to work only if the total time is 60 seconds because we are writing WPM, word per minute. So you might want to uh, keep it 60 only. Otherwise, you'll have to change your logic a little bit according to that. We are not spending too much time on it because this is a React course, not a mathematics course. So yes, if time spent is greater than zero, this is something super important. Why? I'm going to tell you right now. So if this is true, if time spent is greater than zero, then I'm going to take the number of words from my state and I'm going to divide that from time spent. And the whole thing I'm going to multiply by the total time. And that is going to give me the words per minute. Otherwise it's zero. Why did I use this particular conditional statement? Because if it was zero, then division by zero, as you all know, gives an error. So yes, and I'm going to update my state, state, uh, my state as well with WPM is. So again, this is something that could be decimal. So I am going to use parse int instead of, I just want speed in words per minute, which is integer, not in decimal. So this should be good enough for that. This is something which we will not be able to test it out as of now because we are not updating the number of words as of now, clearly. The logic of comparing the text that we write from the text that is present here, as soon as we are done with that particular thing, we will be able to test it out. So in this video, let's discuss about a simple algorithm which we will be able to use to actually figure out uh, the number of words, the number of characters and the speed and whether you are writing correct, whether the user is writing incorrect and what all things are not yet attempted. So I am just going to write a very, very simple logic, which I definitely know is not going to cover all the edge cases. So that will be a homework for you guys, because this is not an algorithm or this is not a logic course. This is a course of simple react JS. So I am going to let me write down a simple, simple, very simple algorithm. So let's take it step by step. So the first step would be, I see, let's handle the underflow case. I'm going to write, let's handle the underflow case. So this particular case, which is the underflow case comes when there is nothing on the screen, when I have typed nothing. So in that particular case, we know that all the characters should be shown as not attempted. This was the first and the simplest case. Now second scenario, let's handle the overflow case. Handle the overflow case. So in that particular case, we can make a quick early exit. So for example, let's say I am able to finish this particular test, which should ideally be never the scenario because we are going to send the user a fairly long text, which he or she should not be able to complete it within the given time. 
so in that particular case let's say if he is able to do that we should actually early exit we should now stop comparing because there's no point of comparing right and then let's handle the backspace case what happens when i start typing and press a backspace so in those cases very simple so without thinking anything we can easily mark the index plus one element as not attempted i hope you are able to understand that let's say if i type m y and then press a backspace so index my index would be y, zero that is m so it zero plus one that is the first index should be marked as not attempted then let's handle so again let me clarify here irrespective of whether or not uh, whether the index is less than zero so irrespective of that case it should mark it as not attempted because let's say if my index goes minus one when i press a backspace here then minus one plus one zero zero should also be marked as not attempted now but don't forget to check for the overflow overflow case here what i mean by that simply let me explain i mean that index plus one can go out of bound when just think about it when when the length is actually greater than this particular length the length of our total uh, paragraph so basically when the index is equal to length minus one so basically when the index is equal to length minus one index plus one is definitely going to go out of bound so this is some simple algorithm i think you should be able to understand if you are having any difficulty in understanding please please do let me know in the comments i'll uh, let you uh, know what i am thinking behind that and plus again it's not the perfect algorithm you can definitely uh, think about some more edge cases here but yes so update the status in the test info so basically once we have marked this as uh, not attempted and all we actually also need to update the test info how can we do that very very simple once again so first of all very very simple i am going to find out the last character in the input value and its index so in the input let's say i type m y my so i'm just going to find out the last character which is y and i'm going to find out its index so this particular algorithm is going to make it a uh, big o of one so because we already know the index we are not iterating over the whole array every time the user passes uh, write down something so this is going to be fairly efficient it's because it's a big o of one then the next step is check if the character at the same index in test info which is the state matches or not so basically i am just going to check for example if i write my i am going to check whether y that particular that particular letter which i typed that particular y should be there the uh, same index the index 1 should be there in my at the same position in my state test info as well and if it matches let me go back in case it matches then definitely it's going to be correct so if it's correct then of course yes i mean if it matches yes then mark it as correct if it by chance does not match then mark it as incorrect and then finally one more step in that finally irrespective of the case the characters the words and the speed in words per minute should be updated can be updated irrespective of the case there's no overflow or underflow in these particular scenario so yes this was a simple algorithm which i wrote down so why did i spend so much time in writing an algorithm and uh, before actually starting the code 
ट्रस्ट मी गाइज इट इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मैन एवर यू टाइट एन इन लॉजिक टू एक्चुअली थिंक अबाउट एन एलगोरिदम बिफोर हैंड सो येस दिस वॉज अ वेरी सिंपल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ हाउ आई थिंक अबाउट द एलगोरिदम्स बिफोर सॉल्विंग दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम सो सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट दिस सिंपल एलगोरिदम बाय बाय टेक केयर